Suppose a fountain has a circular base with a diameter of 12 feet. We want to know which of the following expressions could be used to find the area of the bottom surface of the fountain. So this is just an area question here. So again, let me draw a picture. There's our fountain if we were looking at it from above. We said that it has a diameter of 12 feet. Okay, so a diameter of 12 feet, that means the distance across is 12. Or equivalently, if the diameter is 12 feet, that means that it has a radius of 6 feet. So we're just wanting to find that, that area of the fountain. Well, the area of a circle, recall that that's pi times the radius squared. Well, we're going to approximate the radius, or excuse me, we're going to approximate pi by using 3.14. Okay, so we'll approximate pi by using 3.14. We know the radius exactly, right? We said the diameter is 12, so half of that is going to be 6, so our radius is going to have a value of 6. So we'll just take 3.14, and we would multiply that by 6 squared, and that would give us our solution. So this is just one of those questions. It's just a matter of really knowing, uh, knowing the formula. So in this case, our answer, let's see, so 3.14 times 6 squared. It looks like answer choice B would be our solution. We've got 3.14 multiplied by 6 squared. And again, if I saw a question like this on the test, and I wasn't really sure, if you at least, you know, I don't know. I mean, if you knew the area formula, again, the thing that gets squared in the area formula is the radius. So if I saw this 3.14 squared and this 3.14 squared, I would know that C and D are not correct. Um, and it would be one of the two choices, A and B. So at least at, at that point, I would have it narrowed down to two possible solutions.